Hey guys, Gruz here. And today I just want to make a video to bring to your attention a new game that was somewhat recently released for Vintage Macs. This game's called Mac Low. And the low stands for Lights Out because this is a clone of a electronic handheld game where you'd have the board and then you'd have all sorts of lights on the board that are lit and you gotta try and click on each light to, put, to turn them all off. But you know, once you click one light, then the other two like vertically and horizontally turn on. It can be a very frustrating game at times. It's a challenging game though, it's a puzzle game. So you gotta put some time into it to get it figured out. But this guy John Thysel just released a version of it for the vintage Mac. And today I wanted to show you guys what that's like. If you wanna download this game, I'll put a link to it in the description. But uh, he released a SIT file, I believe it is, and a disc image for uh, floppy emus and stuff like that. So if you wanna get it, like I said, I'll put a link in the description. I got it loaded up right here right now. So this is Mac Low. It, uh, it comes with the source code here, released under the MIT license. I checked out some of this code and it is fantastic. Now, John Thysel is, I was checking out his website and he was talking about how he's a programmer for Microsoft, for actually for Xbox. And I know there's been so many people that's been contacting me wanting to see the source for Flappy Mac. You know, the thing about that was that I only put out a very limited number of those and I'm never gonna make any more. So if you wanna see some source code, I would highly recommend you check this out. John's a professional and he really knows what he's doing when it comes to the Vintage Max. So let's check out the game here. I'll launch it up. It's got a wonderful logo here. So we got uh, mode A and B. I think these are just different levels. I'm not the greatest at this game, but I was playing some of B and I think B is actually easier than A. And of course we got the sound button right there where you can turn off the sound effects. So basically all you gotta do is you click the, click the one you wanna try out here. And then, yeah, this is the board here. And then you see we got three lights there so we gotta try and turn them off. Now, the more steps we take, or the more turns we take, the, you know, you lose the stars if you take too many. So, yeah, basically, I'm gonna try this one again. There's actually a reset button right there I could use. But uh, yeah, I know how to do this one already. I was looking at this already. I can't tell if you can hear that or not, but there's like a little fanfare after you beat it. And then you can replay it if you want, or you can go on to the next one. Just like this. Easy peasy. And they get harder and harder. I don't think I can beat this one. We'll see here. I never had lights out as a kid, so. Oh, there we go. Not bad. Go to four. Hmm. Oh, oh, that doesn't look good. Oh, we're getting it. We got it. All right, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead here. Maybe I'll show you mode B. So click here. There we go. I can't tell if you can hear the sound or not, but my fan on my Mac is so loud. I bet you can hear that. There we go, I'm a pro. But yeah, this is Mac Low. You should definitely check this out. It's a free game. I highly recommend you check this game out. It's awesome. Now, if you're watching this in the future, there's this is version 1.0 that I'm playing. So there's no way to save your game or anything on this one. But apparently John is working on a new version that allows you to save and like choose your levels and stuff like that. So yeah, if you're if you're watching this in the future, make sure to look out for version 1.1. Anyways, yeah, this is Mac Low. It is awesome. I highly recommend this game. Check it out. I'll see you guys soon with a new video. Take care.